Hello everyone, Lotus from Lotus Arts and Craft Ideas. Today we're going to review of the Cuttlewood Arts Canvas Notebook and the Twinkleverse Acute Paints. Here you see that I am applying some thin layers of yeso with a lot of water. I thin it out uh, because I found that these canvas pages are not together evenly and not well and they were not even so I was worried about they holding up. The Twinkleverse, uh, the essential package is the one I got, is 18 tubes of 12, uh, 12 millimeters acrylic paint. The company promised no dry paint. I was worried because some of the caps were off, but it, everything is okay. They have some foil on it, and you just poke them and open them. There's some flesh tones, three greens, three blue, earth tones, black, white, two reds, two yellow, two oranges. So you have a pretty good palette here. They are sold through Amazon and the company says that they're opaque and we're going to put them to the test. Here we're going to do some quick painting, quick study of rocks. Uh, I decided to craft these rocks because I don't paint them on it. So I just want to play around with the paint and practice and see how the notebook uh, hold me. So as I was saying, the company said the paints are opaque. They are, except for the colors are naturally transparent, like ultramarine blue. In Twinkleverse, the ultramarine blue is transparent as, with, uh, as it is in other um, brands. Though I didn't find it, uh, it to be quite as intense as deep as other brands. The consistency of the paint was very nice. Soft, I think it's very good for blending, but it still has some, some body on it. Not heavy body. It's kind of a softer than a soft body of my paint, but not high flow or watery. It is really nice paint. It mixed well with other mediums, acrylic medium, but I wanted to put it to the test with other acrylic paints. So I mix it and it works pretty nice. Works perfectly with other acrylic paints. I use uh, one paint that is uh, Atelier, which stay open, interactive, which stay open for a longer time. If you use uh, a paint that doesn't stay open with this kind of paint, it doesn't allow the paint to normally stay open, stay open. But it didn't make the paint sticky or anything. Um, so the Twinkleverse worked perfectly with it. The colors are very bright, even brighter to what you see here. You can thin it out and it will work perfectly. Thin out the color, you can still have it for details and stuff like that. You can apply it like thick and bold, so it works perfectly. It dries nice, dries nicely. Also, it stays pretty decent uh, in the palette. And the palette open is similar to other acrylics, so just keep it spraying it uh, to keep it uh, you know moist. The canvas board was holding pretty well. Uh, again, it was pre-treated with gesso. I did put two thin layers of gesso, of gesso. so I was trying to see how it hold up because after applying the gesso, I saw some warping, so uh, I let it dry and then put some weight on it, and it was flat again. So uh, I recommend this notebook for, you know, paint studies, sketches, uh, if you want to use it with oils, which take long to dry, I will put some, at least three coats of gesso and see how it handles. You can remove the pages anyway, so that's an, uh, a plus in this, because if you like your painting, you can uh, frame it, put it aside, sell it, uh, whatever, though I don't think it was uh, high quality. I think it, this is more, uh, it's a good quality for studies and practice and all that stuff. About the Twinkleverse, they are nice. I think they compare well with uh, artists, uh, you know, any acrylic paint. Though I don't know they li how light fast they are, I couldn't find any information about that. So I recommend both. 
and have fun. See you later. Thanks for watching.